Hey viewers, me and team here, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I almost said Civ 4, but this isn't Civ 4 at all. Not that I have a problem with doing Let's Plays of Civ 4 either, but this is Heroes of Might and Magic 3. And uh, this is not the correct thing. Let's try it again. Let's play Shadow of Death for Real Reels. Reels. Ah, yes, and I was just about to try to bust this garrison when the game locked up on me. Let's hope it goes better this time. Well, at least it's allowing me to enter the battle. But, uh, that doesn't mean that the battle's going to go well. But it's a step in the right direction, isn't it? So we shall deal. And I guess I should just pile on the Thunderbirds. Or... Well, they are really friggin' fast, and I can kill some of them off. I don't see any harm in waiting, though, especially since they might actually attack the Vampire Lords. No, they're attacking the Vampires. Okay, um... I can get a rock kill. Probably no, definitely two rock kills with these guys. Fairly good defenses on them. Um... Let's eat a retaliation with my Dread Knights. Yeah. Almost no damage in response from that. And everybody's coming down on these vampires for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Um... Oh, okay. Crap. Not that I care about the whites, but that's kind of rough. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Um, they can definitely hurt me. I don't have a good option here. If I wait, they'll attack me. No, I guess that is my best option. I'll wait. Is I can replenish health that way. Tear into the tissue paper. Oh, if only I can move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go here. Oof, thought I uh, screwed the pooch on that one. Why can't I reach? No, there's no reason. There's two hexes. I only take up two hexes. Why can I not reach the wolf riders, raiders? Wow. Oh, because this freaking skeleton thing that's not obvious. Right. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Right, these guys are taking a beating now. But what I can do is attack this, get gobs of hit points back, probably restore all of my vampire lords, yeah. And then, uh, crushify the goblins. No, I'll wait again. Wow, that's an interesting response. Lay down a lot of damage on these things. And my high defense rating should prevent them from doing too much in response. Yeesh, although I'm about to lose a knight guy at this point. Alright, I think I want to get rid of these because they're fast and they can do a lot of damage. So I'll take them out next. And that is definitely an odd formation, but uh, sure. Very interesting. Alright, I should be fine now. 16 health land. Oh, no, 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 no! Ugh. It's gonna cost me some skeletons pointlessly. Forgot about the ogres. And yeah, this is just troll-tastic. You got all these vamp lords here, which retaliate and heal back all the damage they take, and. Oh, I did not realize Cyclops Kings to be that fast. Well, I got a net gain on skeletons, lost my stock vampires, and uh, lost my whites, which I don't consider to be overly, irre uh, overly relevant. So, all in all, not a bad outing. Not a bad outing. Oh, actually, why don't you chase him and take the gold and such? 
He should still be at full mana. Yeah, because I couldn't use any in that battle. Ridiculousness. Hmm. And I guess I should try to build up to a capital. Yeah, you just run in. Ooh, a tree of knowledge and some skeletons to farm. I mean, orc chieftains. Huh. Well, now here we have an option that actually works for us. Yeah. It's not gonna work out for you there, guy. Just kill these off. Rough these up, because their retaliation at melee range is gonna be a joke. Yeah, two damage total on something with over 100 hit points. Should work out. You grab some gold. The faster I can put that castle up, the better. But first, we need a citadel. Well, castle than capital. Still, Sandro probably has enough troops on him to power through the majority of what's on this map for the moment. So it's really an issue of beating the enemy hero at the end. That's really all I have to worry about. And Ugly is just going to do not much. He's going to generate gold per turn for me. That's his functions why he was hired. Your spy returned today. The news was not good. Or at least that's what you gather from the dismembered corpse tossed on your front doorstep in the pre-dawn hours. It would be extremely prudent to learn more about this mysterious druid. druid. Yeah. Great. Well, it's not always expecting the game to spoon feed me information in like some of the final scenarios in the entire game, so... Oh, it's a, a gem level upper. Cause that's a word. Ooh, the Harpy Hags pause and wait for a better time to act. And now Harpy Hags have a special place in my Let's Play history because of my mentioning of them that got people to request that I do these videos in the first place. Yes, it was the Harpy Hags. And I was talking about how annoying they were and people were like, I'd love to see a Heroes 3 Let's Play out of you. And I'm like, you know what? I would love to do one. Yeah, that's how it went, basically. I mean, there were some details to fill in here or there, but... You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a meteor shower. I only need the one, to be honest. Because I don't think these harpy hags are going to do anything to my higher level troops. And now that I, I probably didn't even need one. I probably could have gotten with no magic at all. I have so much though. And in the interest of time, it's probably better just to throw the spells down. Not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. What day is it? Six? If I could come up with a little bit more gold, I could get some dragons. I don't consider them that important, though. And I did just bypass some sulfur, but whatever. And I can come up with more gold, but I need to fight through these. Which, of course, is easy to do when you have expert water magic. Yeah. See, that's why uh, raiding shooters isn't necessarily... And these things are fast, huh? That's why raiding towns great for having shooters isn't the best thing in the world. There are counters to shooters. And uh, we're seeing that pretty soundly here. I think I want to play for this gold, like, ASAP. So we're going to go over here, try and pick that up. Yeah, whatever. I'll self-troll by not picking up that sulfur I left underground there. That's great. Okay, yeah, so... I think getting a Dragon Vault this turn beats out... Um, playing for a capital this turn. 
even though I won't be able to recruit for a little bit longer. Um, nah. Too much effort. And there you go, I can afford it. It's annoying to not have all your creature dwellings, after all. Do I go back for that? I guess so, because what concerns me is I'm going to reach the enemy hero and be underprepared, which would suck. Not to mention, it's not like there's a rush, I don't have a time limit or anything of that nature. But okay, in this turn I'm going to uh, build nothing and try to get that castle. Now here's where some slow might be nice. Always feels nice to have slow. Although I think I'll set up... Are they faster? Only than my skeletons. There we go. We'll set up the double move after they commit to becoming a little bit closer. And of course, that's still not enough for uh, probably either of my troops. Yeah. Whatever. I don't think I'm going to lose anything. No. We'll see. Yeah, no, I won't. Ha. <laughs> Bloodlusted and cursed. Although there's four of them, I have 34 health left. Yeah, they'll do less damage because as I'm killing them. Plus they're cursed, so you know. That's a plus as well. Yay, instant level. Ooh, sorcery or pathfinding. Again, unless I'm traversing jungle. Um, probably expert pathfinding isn't the priority, and I don't see myself traversing jungle in the near future, I am afraid. And I'm just gonna hold off on these so I can get better growth of... No, I'm short gold. Well, maybe I can jack some gold somewhere along the way. Some gold? Maybe I should have said enough gold. That would have made a difference. Wow, more levels. The game's spoon-feeding me the levels. Again, seven... Alright, well screw you two. Slow as troll. Um, you can probably hit really hard. Yeah. I can't even reach. And yeah, same deal here. I'm just gonna beat down on them with a super strong level 6 troop and the vampires, which are some of the best of their level in the game. One of only a few undead troops where I can say that. And yes, we take no losses once again. Not that you'd expect any differently. Ooh, definitely grab armor. I didn't realize I was still lacking in secondary skills to this extent. I like how this is true, that my job here is to get an artifact, but ultimately it's just a hero hunt. <laughs> that does amuse me. So it might as well have just said kill the hero. But whatever. What do I need? Well, with armor, defense is probably more valuable, so we'll take that. And I could just teleport home, I suppose. Well, we can afford to recruit vampires now. Here. Whoa, lots of spells. Take those. go back. You also can recruit vampires. Not until next turn. You won't have enough money. But starting next turn, you'll have enough money. Because I will now be making lots per turn. Oh yeah, you uh, go. Ugh. Hotkeys. Ooh, Medusa Queen, so we'll, it's a good thing we have water magic. Because that way we can just get turned to stone instead of... Wait, that's not a good thing at all. 
It's fine though. We only have seven speed. If I can turn him to stone, I'll just drop a magic arrow on him or something. That's the end of the world. And they can't retaliate on the vampire lords, so I'll just kill them with those. Not bad at all. Hell, maybe I can just win with Sandro. Wow, this is a lot of teleporting around. Yeah, let's uh, recruit one of the worst level ones in the game. That's a good idea. You know, these things have good morale. I don't trust them not to morale hacks me across the map in a single turn, so I'll just slow you down. Interesting. So what do you do if I just throw down an expert water prayer? Huh? Stupid minotaurs. Ooh, they're gonna hurt me. Or they would have until they got cursed. Well, okay. Now they're not going to hurt me as much. And wow, even the skeleton doubts speed with the expert prayer. I underestimated that spell. I think I still prefer mass haste to it because mass haste is cheaper as a spell and uh, the actual haste effect is higher. But prayer's really good and it is definitely an extra coverage thing in the water school that is beneficial. Okay, here. It doesn't really matter. I'll just upgrade the mage guild for now. Um, if I have to warp Sandro back, I will also upgrade for Dread Knights. How am I on spell power versus knowledge? Knowledge troll. So you have to offer. Yeah, see, that's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. I can turn that into a bone dragon. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Seriously though, the things you can get in refugee camps can be a little on the ridiculous side, I have to admit. Now, I don't see anything in this mage guild that's particularly exciting to me, that I don't already have anyway. And level 4, again, probably wouldn't have that much because level 4 is uh, like the I guess like you know, resurrection isn't gonna work because I'm fielding largely undead troops. You must quickly face. You just move quickly or face overwhelming odds. Do not complete your mission in the next two months. The Avli forces will have time to organize and drive you permanently from this realm of existence. It's essential to get the ring and leave the area as quickly as possible. Can't they just say that they're going to kill you? I mean, really. Oh, and of course, when I say I don't have to traverse jungle, I forget, of course, that I used view Earth and uh, do, in fact, have to traverse jungle. <sighs> Whatever, at least I have some pathfinding. But I like to recruit Walking Dead. I like to recruit Hellhound that I can't upgrade. You tell me, game. It looks like I might have to pull back. And regardless, let's do that. Get some dread knights. Are you back yet? Yeah, the vampire lords are what I really care to uh, mass up because I have a feeling they're going to be a key on this map if this fight turns out to be hard. You never know a shadow of death. I've had some really tough fights in Shadow of Death, and I've had some time fights where. The enemy just tanks, like the last fight against Sandro in Unholy Alliance was just a joke compared to everything else. I don't know what was up with that. Yeah, no, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, those gold dragons are not fighting to their potential. Now, this is interesting. I am not vulnerable to this death gaze because I'm undead. 
Except for my gold dragon, of course. He's vulnerable. You have chain lightning now. Interesting. It hasn't occurred to me to do this. But, uh, considering no retaliation thing, it's not insignificant. Now, what do they do? 12 to 16? I'll probably be okay. Ouch. No, I won't be. Ouch. That hurts. It hurts me dearly. Start of the next turn. There we go, just absorb all the hit points back. <laughs> Cloned vampire lords for the win. Oh, they're probably gonna kill them, yep. And does that matter at this point in the battle? No, no, not really. Ugh, gems again. Visions. Fourteen war unicorns, seventy-two elves, lots of dwarves. Fine game. Fine. And it looks like I'm always going to be a week behind, too. Not a big fan of that reality. Or any reality TV, for that matter. Okay, um, well I could bring the liches along, that would certainly be helpful. Yeah, I could upgrade my skeletons too, especially since there's no uh, wandering mobs left. So at this point there's no issue with doing that. Powerlishes aren't a bad upgrade either, although I don't have a mercury thing, do I? No, I do. Interesting. I've just been spending it all. <laughs> After selling all my precious resources just to move out, that is. Um... Let's just upgrade things. Upgrade and buy. We need troops now. Whew. High price tag on these units of the dead. Surprisingly. Okay. Yios! This with the capital and the gold mine. I'm struggling just to... Uh, by my troops. That's probably a good sign. Yeah, definitely a good sign. Definitely not a bad sign. Not a sign that I'm screwed. And wow, that train is loud. I don't know if you can hear it, viewers. I wonder if I can, like, cheese ball her and get her heroes to abandon her from the land and lose the scenario instantly as a result. And she gets all these refugee camps, too. <laughs> it's just obnoxious. Definitely want to bring these along for the ride, too, and, ugh. No, there's no upgrading skeletons. Looks like I'm going to just try to get money in time. I mean, I can just throw down a mass prayer, and that will do everything I need it to do for the skeletons. Can't fool me. I have micro. And that probably isn't even good enough to upgrade. Oh, it is. How about that? Bone dragons should be centrally located as they are flyers and cannot block themselves. 
Well, it really depends on her power. Um, <laughs> okay, I really want to bring the liches along too. And it's like I don't have money. No, it's not like that. It's that's the case. I don't have money. I don't see a way I can come up with more money short of just completing my objective. But if I could do that, I wouldn't need it. Although I guess I have two months from the start of this week, so... It could be worse. No point in doing anything else. Just recruit the vampire lords. It's not a bad haul. Upgrade them. Yeah, once you start getting numbers of vampire lords in force, that gets really obnoxious. I might actually skip out on the liches. Just because I think I can take her without them. Yeah, I mean, I throw down a mass slow and uh, forgetfulness her. <laughs> then she throws down a mass haste and I lose the game instantly. And then I reload. I think that's the plan. I mean, I might be missing out on a few key details here, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Can I actually afford the liches? Interesting, I can. Hmm. Should I just attack now? I think it's dependent on whether I can reach her within a week. I think I can do so, however, so I'd want to leave uh, at the start of the next week. So what I won't want to do then is bother uh, with these vampires. Oh well, with upgrading them. So we'll just burn two days here. And uh, bone dragons, because they're my level seven. So then these guys, and then as many of these guys as I can take. And that includes anything I can get from my resource silo. Not a whole lot here, because I don't have a lot of towns. This is one of those resource starvation maps. And okay. I admit it's not ideal, but it's a functional force, and I think it will have the teeth needed to defeat her. Unless she's much stronger than me, but... Hopefully then I'll just say that the AI is hopefully stupid and work with it. And yeah, we can afford to drag some vampires along. And you're blocked. It's always good to know someone who will retain and sell information. Fortunately you know such a person, a thief named Deathmar makes it his business to know about the background of all who dwell in these lands. Jotting down a little of you know... What? Jotting down a little of you know about the Druid Melodia grammar failure, you send off the parchment via a dead crow. It's not my fault, viewers. Viewers 3 is not known for its grammar, as I have seen multiple instances of this nonsense. Now, another question. Is it worth it traveling out of my way to reach the stable? Probably. Probably. Although I guess I'll know, won't I? Because last time I didn't bother. And you just sit there. Anything else to do? Yeah, start building stuff for points. That's what we're going to do. Oh, 
We're going to build things for points. And wow, the uh, cover of darkness is really annoying anyway, so... I just get a troll face on my person when I successfully build that. You know what? I still don't need that sulfur. Ha uh ha. -huh. Could have been a couple gold. So it was a bit of a misplay. I might have missed out on a vampire from it or something. This must build unearthed graves. This is actually a lot faster when you don't stop to fight battles and pick things up. But even so, this is going to, uh, probably not going to make it and she'll have an extra week of troops on me. I don't think it's a reach to... Ugh, ancient behemoths? Game, you are a troll. Fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I lose and have to restart? And of course, now I have enough gold to afford all my troops. Well, all the troops I care about. Not the walking dead, of course. Or even the whites. I'll take these guys over the whites. Look at that. I just needed an extra week. Actually... That makes this not a bad place to save off, because I think I could still make it back here if I picked that stuff up. Not very useful. And I can reach her on the following turn regardless. So, I'll just sit there. We will also build level 4 mage guild, which probably has nothing to offer me. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Well, at least she doesn't feel inclined to come out and attack me. That's a good sign, although having to attack her in the castle is not the most ideal scenario. And if only I could have expert armor. Whatever, let's go. Ooh, green dragons, too. Adding bonus obnoxiousness. Although, in my favor is that I have the golds, and where are her behemoths? I guess that stack was, uh, ignored. Alright, first things first. Everything that can be slowed, slow it. Wow, these guys got a turn, huh? Wow, okay, she's, um, better than Sandro. My only hope is that her spells aren't as good. It still does slow them down, but now they can reach me and cause havoc. So maybe the instant slow wasn't the best idea. spread out nicely. Can I hit this for full damage? Oh my god, I just lost like all my vampire lords. Sack the skeletons! I really don't want to camp out in the moat. And then again, I just denied my vampire lords a chance to attack anything at all without camping in the moat, but I think they'll do more damage attacking into the moat. Is everything really faster? Yeah, I got more back. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to lose this battle. Just a sneaking suspicion. Crap. She has mass haste as well. 
I'm trying to think if I can win this fight at all with my troop counts, if she has mass prayer and mass haste. I mean, this is cute and all, but... 23 unicorns. And I could throw down a uh, forgetfulness immediately. That would at least prevent the shooter trolling. Give me a fighting chance. I don't see a lot. Well, that was a misclick. But uh, let's try to fight this battle a little more intelligently. Load, campaign, auto, smash down on the intern, <sighs> take two. <laughs> I should at least be able to bait her out, or her troops out, by removing her shooters as a factor. So, let's do that. Besides, those things really ruin my day. So... Really? She is slow, too. Can't even kill one. <laughs> and I don't have a... I guess I could mass dispel it. Protection from what? So bless wouldn't be very helpful. I don't want to dispel the uh, forgetfulness though. I mean I could go for a buff here. I could start blinding things. But what are the odds if she has mass prayer that she doesn't have mass dispel or cure? <laughs> Even so, perhaps I should try it. As it's not like she has a lot of things that can get out. We'll see. We'll see how the AI chooses to play this. Because if it's just the Arrowson Garrison, Arrow Garrison. What? What? <laughs> My dear sirs, I think we have been suicidally direct damaged. Ouch! Really? Armageddon? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> oh, and summon fire elemental. <laughs> oh my god. This is obnoxious. Her magic is too much better. <laughs> or no, her magic is just too good. Maybe I should have uh, stat trolled Sanjo up a bit better. I mean, I could just throw these down. <sighs> the problem is she's not gonna run out of magic either. So there's gonna be like a bajillion elementals on the map. And a double down equals loss. Is this even a realistic way to deal with this battle? I mean, what else can I do? I have to rely on my damage. I can't summon anything, right? Pretty sure I don't have any summon options. No. And, uh, clone isn't very useful when you can get Armageddon, and when you've already been Armageddon. 
So this is my highest damage spell. I should use it. I should tear a new one into good things a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> Why are you just sitting in there? <laughs> the fall of Miz with fire elementals on the field. She could just cast Armageddon like constantly. I can't tell. Okay, they're still under forgetfulness. It's I think she's not leaving because she's under the impression that she has the benefit of a shooter. At least that's my impression. Sacrifice? Playoffs? Ouch, that like also tore me a new one. Oh my god. <laughs> this is impossible! <laughs> like, if I'd known she'd had this, I wouldn't have even bothered. I <laughs> mean, really. <laughs> this is the challenge I've been looking for for a while now. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, we're not beating her right at this moment. Let's go home. Can I win a numbers game? Oh, right. I need 20 mercury for the ghost dragons. Fine, we'll build up all the way. We'll take every troop in the book. And now I've been under recruiting whites because I expected to be able to do better. Whatever. Go home. Man, resurrection, Armageddon, summon fire elemental. <laughs> Certainly entertaining. I wonder if I could uh, teleport Jack her, because she does come out. Would that even be favorable? Well, she's not keeping everything with her. Could insta blind the elves or something. Better would be the ability to do a run by on her. And just take the town and abuse the town's defenses against her. As I'm getting to the point with my troop counts where um, like a bunch of bone dragons with prayer and an all-out effort to destroy her uh, her catapult would probably prevent her from being able to do anything. So yeah, there's the safe scum option. Can uh, build up my mage guild to level five and see if I can catch her with a dimension door or fly. Meanwhile, I'll just uh, buy all my troops. 
Yes, this time I mean it. All of them. Even the whites, I suppose. But just wow. Could you imagine if you didn't build up your hero at all? These maps would be crazy. Like if I tried to do this map at level 1. But I think you're like expected to have some hero build up. Whoop! What are you doing, Sandro? Movement point wastage isn't the biggest problem for you right now, but it's still not cool. Upgrade complete. Yeah. I don't know that benching the dragons is the most ideal thing with the number of whites I currently have, but perhaps in a few weeks. Is that fixed? Because that's exactly what I got before. Interesting. Well, I have 10 days to burn, so I might as well burn them and try to get my broken spell. Because direct damage spells against her. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. Just keep recruiting. some whites. No, we will not. We will not grab any whites. We will grab vampires because those actually matter to me a lot. Because those can become vampire lords, which unlike wraiths are actually good units. Wraiths are not good units, viewers. Despite what I did in my first mission on this campaign. The fact that I nearly lost that mission should be a hint. Where are you? Here you are. Transfer. Alright. What's it gonna be, Sandro? You're gonna stay there. That's what it's gonna be. I, mean, I guess you could tool around with the refugee camps. I don't know what I would hope to get, though. <laughs> all black dragons, all the time! Refugee camps, go, go, go! Oh. Or like a stack of eight archangels, maybe? Any other pipe dreams while I'm at it? Oh. Let's get these upgraded. Yep. And then... There we go. Right, I can't do anything until I get more mercury. Could trade for some mercury. Yeah, why not? Sacrifice everything for some mercury. The game will give me a warning when I only have like a month left, right? And wow, I might actually either keep the gold dragons instead of the gold dragon instead of the wraith. Uh, or, I can turn the uh, gold dragon into a bone dragon. Good, uh, good trade-off there. Oh, right. Sure. Oops. Just because we can. Yeah. Now I can fit everything. It's more convenient. And death is convenient. 
Sandra does have that death vibe about him. Not as cool as the Terry Pratchett death, mind you, but still pretty cool. Yeah, I was watching uh, Kosia's Let's Play of Discworld. That game is hilarious. Attack that luggage. Nothing that'll happen to you, I promise. I don't know how you'd beat that game without a guide, though, because it's, like, impossible to do that. The puzzles don't make sense. <laughs> Which, admittedly, once you see the uh, results of the puzzles and how ridiculous they are, it's pretty funny to watch. Ah, no! Fake difficulty! Death Mar has obtained some history on the Druid, but his price for revealing it to you is steep. 3,000 gold and 4 sulfur. Derp, 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 and derp. You send off the payment, hoping information will be worth such a lofty sum. Soon afterwards, Death Art sends the following message in reply. Greetings, Sandro. Melodio is a veteran hero of Avli. That she has survived so many battles suggests she's lucky to say the least. She has powerful magic abilities with a full complement of spells in her repertoire. You don't say. Any magic user would salivate to have even the briefest peek at her spellbook. Her reputed skills are excellent, with her having mastered the four magical arts as well as studying combat tactics. <laughs> She's picked up more than just the pathetic, ever smoking ring of sulfur in her travels. I'm surprised you are not after the sandals of Saint, the armor of wonder, the golden bow, or the Hellstorm helmet. All rumored to be in her possession. <laughs> Screw you, game. <laughs> if you go up against this formidable druid, I suggest you have plenty of troops under your command. That might have been useful knowledge like a week ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, game. I hate you so right now. And it yanked sulfur, so I have to wait an extra day to get my mage killed. Really? It's like the game is mocking me for not wanting to use whites when they're normally terrible. I don't know what to say. You stay there. Okay, let's recruit some troops. Actually, how much is a mage guild level 5? Well, that's not what I was looking for, but... It's interesting. High level implosion is no joke. At all. So let's just deliver these. Yeah, this doesn't say that there's a time limit, but the scenario said there's a time limit. So which do I trust, viewers? Do I have a time limit or not? Last time when I thought I didn't, it turned out I did. And, uh, <laughs> there was an over-under going on in my channel, whether or not I would uh, either notice and or uh, fail the mission as a result of assuming there wasn't a time limit. But it turned out that the time limit was fairly generous and that I didn't have to worry regardless. In that case. In this case, trying to match Melodious troop counts along with her troll spelling is a little bit on the daunting side, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm, I guess I can ship out next turn again, try this a second time. Yeah, I'm just a little bit short on money to really be worrying about the rates. Vampire Lords, on the other hand, are gold. You know what? That's good enough. We are going to save once again. For real reels. And down into the Underdark we go. And why you have to be at the bottom, Sandro? I guess I should move these guys back into position. Oh man. 
I have everything with the dragon vault. I just need more mercury, which I'm probably not gonna get. Whoop! That was not good. Well, I don't think it'll affect the time I reach. And I think I'm going to level cap Sandro in this upcoming fight. Yeah, it would be really nice if I could catch her outside. Because then I wouldn't have to deal with the castle. Although the more ideal thing would be to force her to deal with the castle. Go, go, go! Like I wonder, does the AI have teleport knowledge? Would she uh, just sit in the base if I camp out here? Let's do the first jick since I've started up here. Yep, we'll save it here because we completed that scenario anyway. I want to see if she moves uh, with the teleporter. Looks like the answer to that question is no. It's a good bit of uh, game AI data knowledge there. Not to mention that um, this is a completely non-viable strategy then. Several golds on top of everything else. Perhaps the only good thing about this is that she can't use all of her troops at once in this context. Once again, I could probably uh, teleport home with my tail between my legs. And that would probably work. Oh, right. Well then, how about another take? I don't see how this is going to go any better than the first attempt, but... Especially since our green dragons that were not many are now equal to... or gold dragons. Than I care to deal with. I think it depends a lot on who these golds target. Air shield. I don't understand the rationale behind going for air shield. I could cast Forgetfulness on the elves, or I can blind them. How much does my implosion do, incidentally? It's a lot of damage. <laughs> I could probably take out the dragon stack with the implosion. We're obviously just gonna dogpile the Pegasi here. Alright, let's open up the same way as before. These haven't fired yet, right? Seven, eight. No, because my bone dragons outsped them. Good. I think screwing with the AI here with this spell is pretty handy. I can kill a gold dragon. I know a reason why not, because I can mass dogpile the Pegasi. Let's get over to the uh, Wraith's turn, since this stack has already crippled to death. Yeah, there we go. I don't know that I want to line myself up for a death breath here. Let's skip a turn with you. <laughs> that would not be a bad place to blind the elves. 
59. Just wow, they have so much. Well, I can just get the vampire lords out of the way by attacking the gold dragons. You know what? We're not going to use implosion. We're just going to attack them and avoid the breath damage. The gold dragons don't seem to be the primary issue here. Really? Ouch. Shield on top of it, huh? It's fine, though. Now what do I want to sack? Oh, man. There's a stack of dwarves here, too. Can I get away from them? Wouldn't be pretty. I think my skeletons are probably toast no matter what I choose to do. You wait. Yeah, that's acceptable. Dog pile. The slow trolling, I could slow down the doors enough to get a hit first hit in with the zombies and uh, eat up the retaliation with those. My remaining forces have enough on them. No, you know what would be even better? That should work out. That should make the zombies faster than the doors, and it does. Oh crap, did the elves un... Blind or whatever? Yeah, I think they did. That was a big misplay on my part in that case. Well, you we might as well get some damage. Yep. Apparently they're still under forgetfulness though. <laughs> so, uh, that's not too bad. This is, though. <laughs> the fact that their forces are coming out are uh, not so good. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, uh, that's something other than ideal in this scenario. Let's cut down on these door numbers. Whew, tense. Well, geez, do I go for... Hmm. I think the answer here is to blind the unicorns. <laughs> and cut down on the damage they can do to me.
Vampire Lords wait. Same thing with uh, the Dread Knights. Because, yeah, the zombies are only 34 of these now. Ooh. Oh, no, I blinded. Uh, whatever, just get rid of the all these things. Or you can just mass Armageddon again. Sure, sure. <sighs> Stupid Armageddon trolling. Although, honestly, I would probably prefer that to uh, some other things like res spam or something. I don't think I've eaten retaliation on anybody, and I don't know that I want to. Let's try this again. These are the best guys to blind, probably. Probably. I think I'll drain more health off of those. God, I got imploded on. There we go. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> no. Screw you. <laughs> I must abuse my vampire lords. <laughs> Slick Rounder 10 was not kidding. This is the best spell in the game, just about. Ugh. I don't think I can blind those because they are fire elemental. I could slow them. Do I have, like, a curse or something? Of course they're immune to that, too. That's an awful lot of them, too. Like, those are serious trouble, and I can't life drain them. Why not? Well, it's not like I can do anything else this round, so I might as well throw an ice bolt on it. That'll hurt a lot. Without unblinding anything. Frick. magic do you have left? Ooh, not a lot. I need to play this really carefully. If only I had a resurrection ability. Oh, you know what? That would help a lot against um, the Pegasi. How many hit points do they have? 30? So a thousand goes into because what I want to do is I want to prevent them from hitting me too hard after unblinding. That hopefully will be enough to help me out. I'm, I'm fine with that. Because I'm going to regain vampires faster than they can kill them. So... The anti-magic thing is fine. I think what I'll do here is throw down another blind on the uh, unicorns. Just because they've been blinded for a while and I don't trust this. And then, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, just take that out. Okay. I think we're in reasonable shape now. Wow. <laughs> Blind can just make a world of difference, can't it? Well, in this case, I think the uh, unicorns are implosion fodder. And we'll just hit them. Good times. Good times. I think I'm not going to lose very many vampires total here. Yeah. Just the uh, ones I cloned in a couple beyond it. Wow, that was brutal. <laughs> How'd you get that stuff from the Angelic Alliance anyway, Melodia? Armor. Pathfinding. Congratulations, you've completed your quest to defeat the enemy hero. Melodia, victory is yours. So the victory condition was to defeat a hero. Wow. Okay, well, uh, that went amazingly better than I thought it would at the start of the battle. And I think that's a good stopping point, viewers. I hope you enjoyed this particular episode. I know I did, certainly. So, uh, thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you guys the next part. Me and team signing off.